Hello, my name is Simon Bates and I'm proud to have been a Yamaha custom saxophone artist since 1994. Today though, I'm going to talk about my first love, the clarinet. And I've come down to the amazing Clarinet and Flute London to film this video. I started clarinet at the age of eight on a 25 pound Boozing Hawks Regent and became so obsessed with it that I got my grade eight at 12. I had my head turned slightly at 14 when I started on the alto saxophone, but the clarinet has always been there for me and is a very special thing. I've been very lucky to work with many of my clarinet heroes, including the great Eddie Daniels and Ken Poplowski, and I was part of John Dankworth's last project before he died, Clarinet Marmalade, featuring the best of British jazz clarinetists. Recently, I wrote and recorded an album of clarinet ragtime music at Abbey Road Studios, I never miss an opportunity to get out the old misery stick, as many of us saxophonists affectionately call the clarinet. <laughs> My own instrument is a pre-custom Yamaha SE from about 1996, which I've owned from new. It's a great clarinet. Recently I had it overhauled and the repairer actually thanked me for giving her the opportunity to work on such a wonderful instrument. In another video, you'll hear how this model has developed into the SE artist model, an accolade given by Yamaha to what they consider to be their absolute best instrument. And they know a thing or two about clarinets, having designed and manufactured them for nearly half a century. As a saxophonist, I need to be comfortable swapping between instruments, or doubling, as we call it. Yamaha have a great understanding of the manufacture of top quality instruments and have always taken this into account. The key work on Yamaha clarinets is comfortable and balanced, and their thumb rests are all adjustable to tailor the needs of every size of hand. Yamaha clarinets feel great to play, end of. Mouthpiece setup is another important aspect for all musicians, but particularly doublers. There are no hard and fast rules here, but I don't know many people who use the standard mouthpiece that comes with an instrument, good though it may be. And it doesn't follow that if you use my setup, you will sound the same as me. An analogy would be just because I wear size 12 Chelsea boots, they probably won't fit or suit you, whoever you are. I've searched for years for the perfect clarinet mouthpiece, and I was fortunate to mention this to the mouthpiece expert, Professor Anton Weinberg, and he worked with me to find the best mouthpiece for my needs. Luckily, we found it, and it's actually a very cheap Wincraft blank that he relayed and messed about with until it was as good as it was going to get. Sadly, Professor Weinberg is now retired, and to my knowledge, there are only two mouthpieces in existence like mine. The other is owned by the fine Greek tenor saxophone Vasilis Zanopoulos. So even if you did want my mouthpiece, you'd have to tempt a man out of retirement, as there's no way you're getting hold of mine. The good news is that there are now an incredible variety of mouthpieces available for all tastes. So my advice would be to pop into Clarinet and Flute London and talk to their extremely knowledgeable staff about your requirements, and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Another vital component of your sound is the reed. Nothing happens without it. There are many varieties of reed available, but personally I use and recommend Van Doren. I use a Van Doren V12 Strength 3. If you're relatively new to the clarinet, you'll need something softer. But as I said, there are many different cuts and varieties of reed, so come in and talk to the guys here about what sort of tone you're after, and they'll be able to advise you. Something that is often overlooked is the ligature. This is the vaguely cylindrical object that attaches the reed to the mouthpiece. Again, the choice depends on the tone you're after, but in my opinion, you can't go wrong with a fantastic BG duo ligature, which is available in lacquer, gold plate, silver plate, and rose gold finishes. On clarinet, I use the silver plate, as it gives a bit more brightness and helps with projection of tone. However, on alto saxophone, for instance, I use the rose gold, as it's slightly mellower with a full tone. Basic maintenance for your instrument is easy, but really vital to ensuring that every time you play your clarinet, it works as you expect. Keep your instrument clean and make sure you use a pull through after every practice session or gig. That way you'll minimise the risk of cracking, I mean this thing's made of wood after all, and massively improve the life of the pads. 
Every couple of months, apply some Yamaha key oil to the key joints. That will make sure your action is kept smooth and trouble free and always make sure you have a couple of reeds ready to go. You never know when you might snag the one you've been using. Above all, have fun with your instrument and with music. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to pop into Clarinet and Flute London.